Yeah, well, I guess primarily, like, I've been trying to, I've been boxing for a little bit. I've had a fight as well, but uh, trying to get a bit more competitive and, like, get the fitness really to that elite level. And I tried a lot of different stuff. I was getting, like, like right hip pain. Like, I would often get pain in the ball of my foot as well um, or on the on the bottom of my foot, even when I used to play hockey as a kid. Uh, so, yeah, I saw a couple of your videos and... Uh, about fascia, I attended one of the the seminars, and once I started to understand, I guess, the concepts behind everything, um, you know, I was like, you know what, this makes sense. I feel like feel like it'll help a lot, and yeah, made a lot of progress so far. Great. So what did you feel when you were doing the elevated toe curls before? Um, yeah, before, like, within a minute or two, the you know the the bottom of the foot the plantar fascia get immediately sore mm -hmm. you could, i could only feel it probably in the foot in the calf as well on both sides a bit but yeah not much in the in the glute mm -hmm. well like a one or a two so it's crazy i guess how far you know a couple of months right what do you feel now after 12 weeks yeah like i mean it's, I mean, it's crazy the difference a few months can make, right? I mean, like, just the daily consistency of doing, like, you know, like, the, the towel curls, the meditation. Um, now, like, you know, don't feel it in the feet at all, really, like, a one, even up the calves. And, you know, I feel it pretty much all in the glutes, you know, up, up to, like, a, yeah, like, even a six or seven. Uh, and then up to, like, my... You know, my core gets involved now, too, even up, you know, to the neck and to the lats. If I kind of tighten the whole body, it honestly really, um, yeah, like better connected the entire body, like the fascial connection. Right. Exactly. Like you always uh, like you always say. So it's definitely still a long way to go. I mean, a lot of um, things to fix, but it's yeah, it's crazy how much difference a short time can make, especially if, you know, one whole aspect of the system is being neglected right right so so yeah this is our message all along mm -hmm. like you know a lot of the for example the the mainstream therapy and a lot of the performance coaching they don't have the fascia aspect of this right i mean coming from your medical experience like when you were doing dissections did they emphasize on the fascia i mean there was never really an emphasis for sure. I mean, we were definitely taught about, you know, this fascia, that fascia connects this, connects that, or in cases this, in cases everything really, right? But it was often only talked about as like, uh, you know, like a lining or like, like the glue it was often called, you know, that holds things together. But um, yeah, I don't think, I don't think I can remember ever being taught about or emphasized about like, you know, the, especially the neurological component, which I guess we've been working on so much, mm -hmm. um, you know, in regards to fascia. Um, yeah, I mean, one of my anatomy demonstrators in, in med school, he, he was obsessed with fascia and we never, honestly, I never really understood why. Um, maybe he probably, you know, knew about it in a bit more depth, I guess. But uh, yeah, definitely not emphasized as much as it should be, especially with like, you know, so many people have chronic pain and if there's a whole kind of glue or like integrated system that's missing i mean there's definitely uh, a lot of good i guess this type of training can do great now you have experienced it after the 12 weeks like what well how would you describe for example the hyper fascia training to someone who never tried it before or who have no idea what fascia is it's like a whole it's a whole missing piece of the equation of physical activity, movement, and I guess even your whole body that um, is, it's a whole different piece that's missing. And, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like some people who just start going to the gym to kind of hit their muscles and they make so many improvements so fast because they've been doing absolutely nothing, I guess, for most of their lives in terms of, um, you know, strength or muscular endurance. Uh, and it's kind of the same way. You'll see like, like amazing rapid improvements. And um, I suspect like just more and more, right. As the more you train. Uh, yeah more and more especially i mean you're not actually you know building technically any kind of mass or muscle you're 
you're just kind of optimizing or streamlining, streamlining like the, the tissue and the connection that's already there, which is probably the best part, right? Feeling more, uh, yeah, more connected. Your body feels more responsive. Um, yeah, I just, amazing type of training. I mean, I definitely highly recommend it to anyone.